were invaded by force of the army. They were threatened by the most horrible counter-revolution, but there's no doubt about what the counter-revolution would have done. It would have slaughtered the workers and peasants and revolutionaries in their thousands there and then, because they were doing that in every town that, that they were able to take over. And that in the process of defending themselves against those counter revolution the Russian economy was destroyed, the Russian working class was destroyed, the cities were destroyed, there was famine, there was starvation, and so on. And if you say, well, uh, uh, you know, Lenin banned the political parties, yes, he did <coughs> ban other political parties, because the other parties were helping the whites in the counter revolution. Not an ideal thing to do, not something you want to do, but you have to understand that's why they did it. If they were going on about labour discipline, they were going on about labour discipline because they had to force people to work, because people were starving, as, as literally starving. I don't mean having a hard time, I don't mean confined to a, a low diet, I mean literally starving. And so they did a lot of things which were necessary uh, 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 in those circumstances. Right. Now, I want to turn that argument round, just for the moment, because time is short. There, there are other meetings, like, I think I've ended up doing one about did Leninism lead to Stalinism on Sunday morning, which I'll go into this in more detail. But I want to tell you that. You're in Russia in 1919. Right? There's starvation. There's the working class discussion. There's a war uh, going on. Production is collapsing. <coughs> what were the real alternatives in that, in that situation? One alternative was obviously that the whites win. Well, we know what that would have, would have been. Uh, Russian fascism, to every bit as bad as German fascism would be, as those worse than be. That's one thing. Another alternative. The Bolsheviks hang on. That was a possibility. Was establishing a liberal democracy or not? <coughs> That's what the Western would imply. When you read right wing people who go on about how terrible it was, Bolshevik. But if, if the Bolsheviks had behaved, we could have had a, a nice liberal democracy, say like Weimar Germany. I don't think we know what that led to eventually. But could we? Was that a possibility in Russia in 1990? It absolutely was not. Nobody engaged in it thought that was a possibility. Those people who believed in that kind of thing supported the whites in order to, uh, as a, uh, you know, that was a long term strategy. But that was not. What an anarchist society possibility in Russia in 1917? What would have happened if you had abolished the Red Army? What would have happened if you had abolished state ownership of the world? What would have happened if you established a stateless, self-governing <coughs> community in those situations, in that situation? I'll tell you what would have happened. What would have happened would have been the first option. The whites would have, would have, would have won. Anarchism couldn't have won in, the, uh, in that situation. Now, the strategy of the Bolsheviks was do what you have to do to hold out the international revolution. That's fundamentally different from what Stalinism did, which was abandon the international revolution and develop it in competition. But those are the, uh, the fundamental argument was in that situation, anarchism couldn't have been. So just to summarize, my argument is the goals of anarchism <coughs> are good. We share those goals. The aspirations that lead him to be anarchists are generally good. We sympathize with those, we agree with those. Anarchists are comrades fighting for us, but we say to our anarchist comrades, comrades, we do not believe your ideas can win. And we say, we do need to win <coughs> in the world today. Because the lifestyle option, living with capitalism in the 21st century, is not really an option. We may say that they'll just let us get on with living the way they want. They won't let us get on with living uh, the way they want. They will cut our benefits. They will attack our economy. They will arrest us uh, uh, when we uh, have parties just to enjoy ourselves. They will make us pay for uh, the crisis. They will destroy the living standards of working class people with a big poor poverty. They will destroy our democracy because they're driven by the, uh, by, by, uh, the logic of the capitalist crisis to do that. They will destroy our environment, which will mean more hurricanes, rising sea levels, destruction of the environment, which will affect not actually the people the planet, but us and so on. They will make life impossible for us <coughs> we fight back and destroy their system. 
We need wind to win. We need ideas that can win. And in my opinion, those ideas of revolutionary socialism are not.